So today for our experiment, we're going to be looking at a demonstration of how acids and bases react together. So we're going to be taking some everyday objects, such as baking soda and vinegar. Um, so we have some baking soda. Baking soda is a substance that is a weak base. This is also known as sodium bicarbonate, and it has the chemical formula NaHCO3. So sodium bicarbonate will easily dissolve in water. And then we will also have vinegar, which vinegar is classified as a weak acid. And vinegar is a substance that is a combination of water and acetic acid. So the chemical formula for vinegar is HC2H3O2. All right, so for this experiment, we will need some baking soda, some vinegar, a jar or plastic bottle of some sort, and a paper towel. So this reaction can kind of create sometimes a, a bigger reaction so this could be a good outdoor or something that needs to be done in a sink or a tub. Alright so first what we're going to be doing is we will take our baking soda we're going to place it on the paper towel. So I have a pile of the baking soda on the paper towel, and then I'm going to kind of wrap this up to a little ball. I'll twist it up so it's nice and tight, and then we're going to place the, the wrapped baking soda into our jar or bottle. So we will just place that in there. And then the next step of this reaction is that we have to add the vinegar. So, grab our vinegar. And then we will just pour it right in. So as you can see, the reaction that happens here is we get a lot of bubbles forming and the bubbles are all rising towards the top of the jar and then it settles down. Okay. So during this experiment, there are technically two kinds of reactions happening. So the first reaction that is happening is an acid-base reaction. During this reaction, um, the hydrogen atoms from the vinegar are reacting with the sodium and the bicarbonate ions of the baking soda. So during this acid-base reaction, the products formed are going to be carbonic acid which has the formula H2CO3 and sodium acetate, which is H or CH3COONA. So we can see in the equation, we have our baking soda, our vinegar, our carbonic acid, and the sodium acetate. And then the second reaction that happens is a decomposition reaction. The decomposition reaction occurs on the carbonic acid. So the carbonic acid is decomposed into water, which is H2O, and carbon dioxide gas, which is CO2. 
so um, it is during the reaction from what we saw physically it's the carbon dioxide gas that creates all the bubbles and causes them to rise because the gas is going to be less dense than the other uh, portions of the equation and so this is kind of what makes it rise up to the top and it can explode out like a volcano. And there's our reaction for today.